In this video, we will continue to study the ion-dipole interaction and consider in more detail the energy of interaction of ions with the solvent or the so-called solvation energy. The solvation energy is the gain in energy that is obtained by transferring ions from a vacuum to a solvent. Electrostatic interaction is neglected. The simplest model for estimating the solvation energy was proposed by Born. According to this model, an ion is considered as a charged ball, and the solvent is a medium with a dielectric constant epsilon. The process of transferring a charged ball from vacuum to medium is divided into three stages. The first, ball discharge in vacuum. Second, transfer uncharged ball from vacuum to solvent. Third, charging of the ball in the medium. It is assumed that the work in the second stage is zero, and to calculate the work at the first and third stage, the basic laws of electrostatic are used. So, according to the Coulomb law, the interaction force of charges located at a certain distance in a medium with a certain dielectric constant is And the field strength is Since the field strength is related to the electric potential by the formula, we can obtain an expression for calculating the potential. And using this expression, we can derive a formula for calculating the work of charging the sphere. Thus, it is possible to calculate the work for the first and third process. Considering that the free energy of solvation we can write the basic formula for the Born model. If we use the gibbs helmholtz equation, we can also obtain the expression of solvation in enthalpy. which is also called the born bierum equation. The hydration energies calculated by the Born model are very significant and sufficient for the destruction of the crystal lattice during the formation of electrolyte solutions. This is the most important qualitative conclusion from the Born theory, which shows that the main reason for the formation and stability of electrolyte solution is ion solvation. Let's compare two formulas. Born model for the lattice energy, which we discussed in the last video. And Born model for the solvation energy. If in these formulas we neglect the values of unit per n and unit per epsilon compared to unit and assume that
then The solvation energy of one ion will be equal to half the energy of the crystal lattice. That is, the solvation energy of two ions, the cation and the anion, just compensates for the energy of destruction of the crystal lattice.